Hi, my name is Caroline Pullen, and I am the founder and CEO of Pullen and Associates Consulting. And right now we are obviously in a time of great uncertainty and anxiety. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time in the next couple weeks putting out some videos on how best to navigate this time. So today I wanna to talk about uh, ownership and control. So often when we are experiencing times of anxiety and uncertainty, uh, we focus so much on the control that we don't have, the things that feel chaotic, that we miss the control that we do have. So what do I mean by that? What do we actually have control over? What's our ownership and our area of responsibility? Those things are our thoughts, our feelings, and our actions. Now those things might be very hard to uh, regulate and take ownership of, but those are things that we can actually take ownership of. So a couple days ago, and I will link it to this video, I posted in my Instagram at Pullen and Associates a thought record that you can use to walk yourself through a thought changing process. And what I love about this is that there are seven columns that walk you through with questions along the bottom of each column, a process of naming your thoughts and your emotions, and then walking through a change process to get you to a healthier, you know, more balanced approach. So that's controlling your thoughts, controlling your feelings. I'm going to do a separate video on um, but that can feel very challenging, but you are responsible and can control your feelings. You can also control and have uh, responsibility over our actions and reactions. So again, there are a number of our normal actions that might have to shift during this time. So what is it that you do have control over in a healthy way? And that might mean instead of going on a coffee date with friends to your favorite coffee shop, maybe you both choose to get on Skype at the same time or on FaceTime and have coffee or tea together uh, from your house. That could be a virtual or online book club. It could be choosing to learn a new hobby that you haven't done. It could be uh, choosing to work out at home and engaging in a routine here. There are just so many options for things that you do have control over. Well, it's fine to grieve and feel sad for the things that you're losing during this time. It doesn't all have to be uh, super happy all the time. That's not realistic. Pull out a piece of paper and write out your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions and reactions, and the things that you do have healthy control over. Again, this is healthy control. So there's a lot of ways to have control in unhealthy ways. We definitely want to avoid those. But what are the things that you have healthy control over? So try that out this week and see if that's helpful.